133rd live stream. And I know what Yay. you're saying. What, why isn't this in midday? And the Americans are going, why isn't this not midday? And the Europeans are going, it's 12, shut up, go to sleep. It's 10.30 or 11.30. <laughs> you know, time, time that's past day. <laughs> um, it's, it's because... Because this obviously just follows Zomzom around, much like the bad smells. Uh, mm. So here we are. We're back in Canada land. And the rest of the people on my stream aren't. So hi. Yay. Yay. Uh, today, Yay. today we got Allie again. Yay, hi, I'm back. Uh, she might have to pull some popcorn from her hair, though. It's a snack, though, <gasps> we swear. Uh, it's a snack that smiles back. Until you bite its face off. Yeah. <laughs> the Prince of Fluffy's eye. Hello. And uh, I, I exist. Yes, yes, you do. Much like, <laughs> is this Horton Hears a Who? That's a great, great musical. Um. <laughs> yeah, <whistle> first. <laughs> 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 and there's like some other people without voices. There's probably going to be Q pencil case fluff. I can see Q pencil case fluffing everything. Uh, I don't know. As always, stranger will probably flag us ten or twelve times. BFC might Most just likely. throw like some nice craft root beers at us. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so yay, art. Yeah. Um. So first up, uh, Lucardo. Lucardo. I yeah. think that's them. The the care. Oh. Maybe. Here. Maybe I don't know. It's not their same name. <laughs> oh. Is that you, buddy? Imposter? Question mark. Yeah. Mm. Cool. You content. Yeah. You're you're like the first person in eight or nine streams that we've done where people haven't contacted us and you've contacted us you went hey please critique my stuff so we're gonna critique your stuff first because you're here too yeah so first yes. of all you got any questions for us art painter um no art we are not critiquing art painter today he has not submitted anything. <laughs> they have not submitted anything gladly I want I want to know what the next reincarnation of them is going to be. <laughs> Art painted 6117 24601. I'm sure of of how the anatomy is from an upward position. Uh so you'd be talking how the anatomy is for this for the pose you've actually made where it's the the flying one. I have good news. There is more than one reference from the show where they make this pose, and it's adorable mm -hmm. every time. But we can also break it down using references. Sorry, my squeaky loud chair. We we gotta get that chair like an industrial tub of lube. <laughs> yes, one hundred percent. Can't find references for it. Uh, our reference bureau is still Buru is still alive, but uh, at this point, uh, Derpy Buru is probably better. And by yeah, this point, Derpy, Derpy Buru is always been better. Yeah, we try. You can be very specific, very specific with your uh, search queries in Derpy Buru. So, so I'd cool. go tummy flying. Let's see. And like another thing, I always like to suggest it is that it doesn't have to be a pony reference either. Any kind of winged creatures. That could kind of be posed in the way you think. Like mm -hmm. I know it's hard to find it for like oh. fantasy, but like say a cat, a cat could do the pose, and you could just like I I I, I know there are a lot of uh, sort of like flying in this pose of the legs held dangle down kind of poses. So I can think of a few off the top of my head, uh, but like also it might be helpful to look at like just ponies standing. Just it won't be the same, but you can get like an idea of some parts of it. I just found the pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's good to have lots of different poses for different things, like similar things, exact things, uh, sometimes irrelevant things just that happen to have something that you could relate to. So using different references tends to be a good idea because then it mm -hmm. generalizes what you're, what you're using. Absolutely. 
Uh, and as I've said, you, you don't need the pose for the reference you're doing. You're, you, the reason you have a reference is so you can always measure and compare and figure out based on your mm -hmm. subject you're looking at. If it's doing the exact pose, that's, that's like recreating a sketch, and that's totally fine. But at a certain point, yeah. you should be able to just deconstruct yeah. something else. The goal, the go yeah, the goal isn't to isn't to be like, okay, now the the line comes out just here and curves like this and goes back just in there, and like, oh, I, I hope I can get the curve to look right. The goal is to be like, okay, so I can see how the thigh sits in the pelvis here and like where it goes. You know, you're trying to sort of break it down and understand how it's built, not like to copy the lines. You know. So let's uh let's break down your picture here using the magic of construction lines. We'll, we'll work on stuff. Uh, your your legs are consistently thin across the board, which is good. You want consistency. It helps by eating a lot of fiber. No. Uh, <laughs> legs are fine uh so your crotch line here it's i have no other word for what this thing is it's a crotch line um your the the hip when when we create the line that sits in front of the hip to sort of delineate the the chest from the where the legs sit we often fold uh, like do this line here uh, i'll do it up in green why not this guy right here uh it takes a lot of effort to make that thing disappear to the point where you actually have to turn a hip in front of it. The reason is because there is a belly connection there because the, the body is made up of circles and there's a, this like hip thing that goes like this and pelvis down and then up and then down and then up. And I'm going to do it in a different color. Pelvis bone goes like yo. If ponies actually had bones, that would be. And you got like a connection <laughs> joint there and a connection joint there, and then bone, bone. Um, so assuming, if you don't hear it all, there will be a recording that I'll link to either your post or your comment. I don't know. It'll be one of the two, so you can rewatch it in not streamy breaking this evil. Uh, so, so with the hip, that's the hip. That's the reason why we do the hip in this way with that line in front of it. Feel free to change it if you want, but if you're going to change it in one way, such as how you did where you've decided that the one leg sticks over it, I'd suggest following that to the other one and making both legs uh, more human-like. Because if you go stare at a human anatomy, uh, down down at the hip are... Our legs join up at our hip on a, almost a flat curve, unless if you got a nice rolling gut, like us Canadians over here. Um, and and what you're what you're going to pull off there is a straight connection from where the legs are in an opening between the hips, and it sort of looks like hur, hur, hur. in the dirtiest way possible. That's what it looks like, because hips separate that. Uh, that would be the more human anthro -y sort of way if they're wearing pants. That's what I got for this one. Uh, it's great. And I'm not even going to mention the fact that there is no other ear. Okay, I'm mentioning the fact. Where's my other ear? <laughs> no, it's hidden behind the hair. I get it. Yeah, okay. for, for where the position of your one ear is, it's hidden. Yeah. Uh, Dang it. Eyes. Muzzle. Teeth. So who did this uh, big blue wing? I wasn't paying attention. You want to talk about your I awesome did. wing? Uh, yeah, just someone was saying the wing connection wasn't quite right, and I was I was looking at uh, making the wings go more like MLP wings, but that's mostly from memory, and that's a loud vehicle. And. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. I was allowed to. Okay, so uh, sorry. <laughs> I um, I uh, am trying to find reference. I was doing that while you were talking. Um, 
Okay, I'll just pick up the first random. Here we go. I can link this link this image. Um, it's not in the pose, but we can use it for looking at the wing. So I'm going to link that in the Bicato. And it's just a picture of Dash and Applejack, I guess. So, you know, you, there are probably 500 more like this on Debbie Bory or any episode of the show. It's just the pony wing. So, um, actually, I'm going to copy this real quick. And I'm going to paste it in for reference here so we can just see it. How about that? That's a neat way of doing things. Then everyone in the, the YouTubes. Ah, I put that on the wrong there, I guess. <laughs> Aren't I silly? Mm, Let's so do that silly. again. Okay, there we go. So, I don't know, looking at the, how the MLP wings look in the show, what I did was from memory, but I think it's pretty close. Um, got this, and look, I'm not going to trace it. I'm just drawing it. So I'm gonna, oh, look, I can figure out how this works from here. But kind of this this nice flow like this and you got some feathers going out like this so it's all trying to do something like that um just to have make sure you get that flow because often i mean this is a i think it's sort of like flapping upwards so it's you've got this kind of straight curve but a lot of the time i think you'll probably remember where did my color selection go there it is um a lot of the time you can have the wings sort of going like this they have like the, the sort of upwards curve like that, which is what I was trying to do. Because that's sort of more of a poised wing position. Um, MLP, I think they also sort of curved this feather back a little bit, but I don't, I don't really like how that looked too much. But that's up to you how much you want to go like the show or how much you want to experiment with your own sort of style of wings. You know, or you could try and do something totally different if you want. Let's say, hey, let's pull this. Let's pull. Uh, my razor is not working. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, that's twice that that's happened. Um, let's rub that out. Just an experiment. I can be like, hey. Uh, oh, that's hard to see. I'm just going to literally experiment. I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I actually didn't mean to make a pun then. Uh, <laughs> that was actually an accidental pun. Um, let's, 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 make a, let's make a wing. Let's go crazy and just make this real messy. Because messiness is awesome, and say, hey, cool, here's a wing. It's gonna be feathery. It's gonna be re real cool. And there's a wing. So it's up to you how much you follow the references of the show and how much you like experiment. And sometimes just winging it can uh. can make it. <laughs> that sounds on purpose. Can make it a <laughs> bit more fluid. But and you can discover some things, or it might not work. And that's fine. If you try to just draw something out your butt and it doesn't work. That's fine. It doesn't mean you're a bad artist. It just means that you need more like experimentation, and or it just doesn't didn't work that time. Who cares? It happens to every artist. So just go find reference and then try it again. A few more refs because I just went down a sinkhole of looking at art. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, art is just like the best reference to me. Like, of course, it's inconsistent, so you've got to make sure you use a lot of different things. And trying to copy one particular artist is not good. But so many times I see a piece of art, and it's like, I love the way this artist has drawn this wing. It's so great. I love the way this artist has drawn draws their eyes. They're lovely, and I'll just want to do that, and I'll just try it and copy that artist for a bit, and then just see how that feels. <laughs> and it doesn't mean that that's what I'm going to do for my pictures. It's just nice to try out mm -hmm. different things. Oh, absolutely. And I just posted a lovely variety of different artists, show style, and lots of cute ponies. Ooh, that's a lot of links. I like researching. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looking at art. and who, I mean, Right? Like... <laughs> who can oh, hey! say no to the job of drawing ponies where you get to draw ponies and as looking at research, looking at reference to research, you get to look at pictures of ponies and art. Exactly. Also, in my searches, I just came to a picture of the puppies I drew. Oh, really? Ah. <laughs> no! It's not okay reference! Yes, it is! No, it's not good enough. <laughs> it's adorable. Which one was it? A Fluttershy. And also, a me. Well, Ali Core is great to draw. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Oh, yes, that, that one. As a draw along doodle. All right. So you got any further questions there, Lucardo? Yeah. Um. 
I can't seem to get to the stream. There is an image over it now. Why has this happened? Oh, there we go. My my web browser bugged out for a bit. Uh oh. I went to pick up my headphone and realized that one of the earbuds is gone. Where has it gone? Time to panic. Oh no. The moon. All right. Then on to the next one. Thank you, Lucario. Stranger Soros said, "Ally, you have been flagged." To the left. Which one is? Which one is next? We're gonna do. I'm gonna get the one by Fruit. It? Wait, no, it isn't. Wait, hold on. I think there's. Uh, I can I'm gonna get rid of. Let's see. How do I select? Select. Is there a selection? Okay, there is. Yeah, we're gonna do Fruit as one. Because I don't think Deluxe Flame had one this week. Day. And move no, this not that I over. See. There we go. Uh, remember, if anyone has anyone any art they'd like to submit, please feel free to give us the pics, as it says both across the top and on the bottom right-hand corner. With my little OC, with my little pony. So let's talk this picture by. Oh. Fruit is. Uh, I drew artist or today's artist tra ATG prompt artist ground training. No. Artist training ground. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't <laughs> register. Uh, prompt day sixteen. How'd I do? Travel. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like some critique on proportions and other things on my drawing as well as what I could improve. This is the edited version. Uh, this one you submitted to the non-edited. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is the better version. Uh, so let's let's talk this. Uh, Maze Maze pointed out two things so far: the the belly line and the missing leg. Completely agree. Yeah. Yep. Besides, got that. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I and mean, this is a real interesting piece so far, I think. Mm -hmm. hmm. I feel like this part of the mane is actually too long. It should probably go sort of like about here, I think. Maybe a bit lower. Like here. Oh. Yeah, I think about, about here at the most. She has a very long, pretty mane. Um, but it's a nice sort of like heart-shaped appearance. But it's not actually... As long as it is in this drawing. There's nothing wrong with it. You can draw Flajo's super long mane if you want. It is very long and Rapunzel-y. But it's, uh, it feels like it's she, like she needs a bit of a mane cut. Like it, it's been a while. It's starting to drag on the floor a little bit. She might just be busy dealing with all her animals. Yeah. I mean, it's always pretty anyway, so who cares. <laughs> I love the sort of heart shape of Fluttershy's mane. It's cute. I, I really love that there's a second ear here. <laughs> yes. See, heart shaped mane. Then with like a little little pony face. She needs a little heart, a cutie puppy. Ah, uh, an old drawing. So deluxe flame. Um, if it's, if it's older than what we've already critiqued from you. I don't know if there's much we can give you in the way of critique on it. If you have something that, any questions you would like to ask about it, feel free. Otherwise, just tossing drawings at us and hoping for the best. It's it's not going to give you any learning. But if you have any questions about it, yeah. Yeah. Those, that's what we're listening to. It's just sort of like if there is a, a picture where it's like, i just drawn this, or like, you know, this is a recent picture and I, I, I want to improve, I can see that it needs improving but can't quite figure out how to improve it you know then we can help you with that or maybe you know if there's an old picture but one that you've always sort of been stumped on kind of like it but can't quite figure out where it needs improvement and you want to like work on you know what you've got in that picture and making it better then we can help with that one as well but specifically if there's something that you're wondering about I would say maybe you can make this main yeah. hit the floor that was going to be my suggestion because, like, her hair, she has really long hair, and, you know, gravity affects that. So, it, like, 
I know the show takes short cuts and stuff, and she could be walking and her tail just bounces, but that yeah. would be, her, her tail would be dragging on the floor in most cases. I'm just drawing some uh, general draped on floor reference for you here. <laughs> Drawing hair is too much fun. I love it. Mm -hmm. Some people sort of like, I hate drawing hair. It's like, I can't get it right. For me, I, f I actually f feel like it's just something that I love doing. It's so fluid and flowy. Yeah. The same reason why I love drawing like trees and nature backgrounds, and I hate rooms, cities, anything like that that's structured. They start using the shape tools to make everything. It's like, well, this dresser has to be an exact, like, it's straight. Like, it's at an angle, but all the lines are straight. <laughs> I was doing some work uh, for Buck Legacy. He wanted me to draw a card with uh, a temple. And it, there were no characters in it, it was literally just a temple. And I, was, I started drawing it, I started. Uh, putting all the lines in with the line tools and everything and he comes back to me and he's like it's too neat and tidy like everything's sort of meant to be a bit like not sketchy but like it's meant to be hand drawn like but it's like everything's all symmetrical in the, the picture you want and it's like hand draw it <laughs> like no i just had a panic attack like how do i do this how do i hand draw something that needs to be symmetrical and perfect but sometimes it's about like letting go of what you feel an art should be to what makes more sense or helps you get through it better i'm just gonna i'm just gonna mess around with this here. drawing hair is too fun i'm gonna just i'm just gonna make this Do it. i'm not i'm not telling you this is the way you need to draw his hair i'm just having fun <laughs> yeah. his hair is meant to be fluid does anyone else actually have anything while I'm just doing? No, I don't. <laughs> nope. All right, let's move on to the next picture then. Uh, Deluxe Flame, as we said, if you have any questions about that picture, we'll be happy to critique it. If you don't have any questions, then I I don't know what to offer you. So this one is Artist Training Ground number 14 Hive Master. It took so long, but it was worth it. This is by Maze, who is here. Oh, I really should have done theirs earlier. <laughs> hey, Maze, you got you any questions? For... I did. Oh. It's because somehow I kept skipping over this when I was clicking through the tab. So, Maze, you got any questions for us on this picture in particular? Purple slugs, purple centipedes, purple spotty things. They look like something that she's about to destroy. But how can she destroy them when they are fluffy? My first little thing is that she needs a little more neck. Or he. Day. I'm gonna no eyelashes. Hmm. <laughs> they might be covered up by the mane. I was asking before how to make this pose. Well, you made that pose. It looks like you've, yeah. The pose yep. looks pretty great. I'll say it just looks like the legs bending the wrong way, but but Kipen's case is on that. Well, the bot the body's leaned out, right? I'm on the wrong layer. Abort. Abort! Abort! How could you? I love those purple lines in there forever. I definitely agree with Cold Trail. The face could use some more livening up. I 
pay a bit. Is it based off of magic card? Ah. I also think that back leg could use a little change. Um, it's very, very curved into like the back end of the pony. Usually the legs won't curve in this much. Um, just, just kind of making it a lighter slope. You know. So. Yeah, of course they're... It's a cheerleader now. It has little pom poms. If we can, if we compare <laughs> this. Uh, this creature or the the pony to the picture, uh, we can see the artist that did the magic card one, the Daryl Ritchie. He he made sure that it the the subject is actually looking at the the creatures, and that's that's the big difference between yours. So the way he did it was turn the head and definitely turn the eyes towards the closest creature. In your case, I think it would be the, the one down here. And so all you would have to do would be slightly turn the head towards that and focus the eyes on it. And that will help bring the picture to more life. You know, give it give it a reason to be there because they're, your horse is just looking off into Never Never Land right now. Laser beams, purple laser beams. Pew pew. Now they're actually just antennae on the slugs. <laughs> we'll get to your picture next a bit. Fluffy antennae. <laughs> We're just graffitiing over the same parts now. <laughs> <laughs> graffiti fight. All right. Um, does that make sense to you, Maze? the the focus the refocusing of the face to help with the, uh, the composition yeah beyond that you're you're still good old maze your lines are great your proportions are just fine and dandy uh, maybe some slight leg work as Ellie has shown uh, not enough fluff will be <laughs> two pencil cases so I do have I do have one other thing um, the hair is very flat, even though it's interacting with stuff like the horn. Like, try mm -hmm. draping like hair over anything. It feels it's like a it's a cape. Yeah. Like I just went through in the last picture, hair is very fluid and fun and natural. Mm -hmm. And like Kipenskis is doing right now, just a few extra lines to really like get the idea of like, yeah, this is like something that has a constant movement. It's just not one block of color. It's like clumps of lines working together to make hair. I'm sorry, I've actually lied a bit. Uh, we're gonna do dark deluxe flames next because they were before you. That makes sense. First come, first serve. <laughs> uh, deluxe flame, do you have any questions? Or do you want this picture done or do you want the pinky one done? Because it looks like your pinky one is newer. Should I re be redesigning the hair? No, but like take a different approach to it. Like, you there is a difference between giving a character different hair and changing how you interpret that hair. If my pen would actually let me draw. There we go. Um, so let me just turn off some of these layers so I can see it. Okay. Um, I'm going to just redraw your mane a little bit, release an interpretation of it over here. Um, so we've got, we've got mane. Here we go. Here's the mane. Here's the ear. There's a break around here and there's a horn sticking out. Cool. Um, so how I would interpret this, um, when I do mains, I like to do this anyway, just come up with like a really basic, like, okay, here's the general shape. And then I'll go over again, it's just good color, yeah. And so it'll be like, cool, so like you've got some breaks here. So let's say a little bit of jaggedness, and then there's a break. You can do this, this is sort of an anime thing I've seen. 
uh, when they have this sort of like uh, twilightish style. But you can you can bring that up even more. Let's do it on this side actually. So it's okay. We've got some, we've got some breaks here. Cool. Um, and you can, oops, you can make that feel a little bit more fluid, just in sort of how you bring it up. And this this sort of main style is a little bit harder to work with, I think, but mm -hmm. to make it look realistic, because it's really sort of based off of something that's a bit more fluid. Really, you're gonna have lots of smaller strands like this building up. So you can still sort of figure out how to make it work uh, while still keeping that uh, keeping the shape that you that you were trying to go for intact. But it's just sort of working out what does this mean? Like, what is it? What is this hairstyle that I'm doing? You know, how is this hair falling? How is it making sense? What what is this trying to represent in terms of like if a human had this hair, what is it doing? You know, and then trying to figure out okay, this is how how it is interpreted. Personally, I always prefer much scruffier main styles, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. And like, if you if you do want like a more similar, I honestly just say look at Twilight. She only has one or two breaks in her hair, but like she has a lot of lines showing the direction the hair is flowing, and even little stuff like that can really like push the idea that the hair is all flowing in one direction and is not a solid object. Just little things to break it up in between, and like how you have your horn. The horn just kind of looks like a little cut out like there's a little cut out in the hair for the horn but instead of like have some lines to show that the horn is separating it like a curtain you know here here's some some lovely horn stuff I think that's sort of what Ali was talking about yeah, I think I think the the biggest problem is that um, it looks like a solid object. Mm. I think if you add just a few lines, it'll speak to hair much more. Like if you look at ponytails, they have the colors of lines to guide them. They also have the way the tail spikes out. It has a lot more flow to it. But when you have something a very simple hairstyle, there's not much to guide it to believe it's hair. Instead of like what's what's the difference between that and say a cape or clothing it's wearing. So it's like different textures can help identify different parts. I was gonna just say turn off layer three and then turn it back on. It's like oh, no. boom, masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> so much fluff. So much just crazy graffiti and like doodles of like drawing techniques on the side and just the word, not enough fluff. Alright. Uh, do we want to do the next one? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, let me upload it. Oh, the pen. Come back, pen. They just, like, migrate away from my desk. I'm gonna blame Fluff Design CPC because they probably have some sort of magnetic device making your pen <laughs> slowly move away from you. <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> Pranked ya. This is how we keep accidentally stealing each other's uh, tablet pens. It all makes sense now. Magnets. <laughs> Alright. So, Deluxe Flame. Do, 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 do. Hair and eye troubles on the latest image. Sure. That looks so painful to be hung by the the leg hole thingies. Ow. <laughs> Maybe like piercing your nose and hanging yourself from there. That's Oh gosh. Ooh. It's very painful. Minor prize defeat. Major prize reform. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Chrysalis's face though. It's just like, it's <laughs> what like, are you doing? 
It's such like a comedic expression. <laughs> it's, it's good. I think it's because it's just so like hard to read. It's just like bah. shapes moving. Yeah, <laughs> you just get like that. <laughs> and I just feel like that fits Christmas. I need to so turn much. this page upside down though. Uh, is there a way to do that? Uh, the you button? Can... I can, no, I can only fl I can only flip it um, horizontally. I just gotta use the little dragger thing. So actually. LD, if you could flip the canvas upside down for a second, look at Chrysalis. Uh, There's like a little draggy thing in the bottom next to the zoom. It's oh, like... I don't like that button. Oh. <laughs> you can always click the one to the left. There we go. Click the what? Button to the left of it. There's a button to the left of it that'll like recenter everything. Mm. Nice. So, it's it's really important to keep moving sketchbooks around as you draw, especially when you're doing characters upside down, because it's easy to think about drawing a character upside down, like, oh, I'm just going to just draw, I know how they, their face goes, I'll just draw it upside down. But then you actually get them upside down, and it look, it's, it just never looks right. Always turn your sketchbook upside down, I think, to actually be drawing the character the right way up for you. That's, that would be my advice. I don't know how many of you guys would agree with that, but that's what I would do is always draw the characters the right way up so that you're actually looking at them right. So you can see from this, like, Chris, there's, there's a few things here that, you know, Chrissy, you're not quite um, in your best days here, are you? Um, so I think basically it's just because of the difficult orientation of the character that's sort of made it hard to draw her. So there are lots of ways where we can sort of... Uh, I don't actually have reference to Chris's on me, so I'm just going to... In this goes rah here's a angry yelling face and just got a, a spiky teeth does that sort of look like oh yeah I, I think so yeah. and uh so then we can we can work on the face structure in a way where it actually makes sense so it's like oh here's some really angry eyes look at those scrunched up Ooh, she's mad and um, get the eyes in which i'm just going to turn this uh a little bit there we go um just give us some drawing room and, you know, we can easily get the, say, oh, look, now there's an expression that makes sense. Is the horn should be about here. Let's, uh, yeah, it's got a twisty, jagged horn, something like this, right? That just looks like a puzzle piece, I'm sorry. Uh, and we can, you know, it, it's, it's a lot easier to make characters make sense, is what I'm saying, by having them the right way up to you. And then you, then you can work out how they are in the picture. Yeah, like, it never, ever, ever hurts to be twirling around... Because you've got paper, yeah. I mean, even on a computer, you can just... For most programs, canvas, you can rotate yeah. the canvas, yeah. Some things make it a bit more difficult, and you've got to, like, select the rotation tool. It's like, ugh. But it's, yeah. uh... It's... Uh, it, when you've got paper, you can just turn it upside down. It's well, the other, the other plus side is to this, is that your hand... Like... What I've seen, and what I've read, and what I've practiced certain strokes are better at certain angles like when you pull your pen towards you usually you get nicer curves and when you push it away usually you get better straight lines so to alter your sketchbook and body to the thing that helps you produce the best work like i mean every tool is at your disposal never be afraid to try anything never be afraid to like turn it upside down i mean people throw their sketchbooks up against mirrors so they can see the flipped image that helps any kind of mm, way you exactly the medium just go Go ham if it helps. That's what it comes down to. So we can probably flip the thing back up and see, hey, that's how this chrysalis looks now. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I think it's like... You can see this fluffy thing being drawn up by Keypen's case. Yeah, and another thing, um, like, chrysalis legs has some broken parts to it, and I think turning it right side, or like at least looking at it right side up could help see that a bit better. Because um, your leg right here has a kind of breaking right out of the body, which is a little painful, but um, if you, you know, burr, 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 no hoopsies, and then give her holes. I mean, she already has holes. How It's pretty broken inside. Just see right there. <laughs> so I don't really understand, like, the... I know I've seen, uh, like, those sort of prize machines that look like this, but I can't really figure out what it's supposed to mean from this point of view. So, like what, 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 how does this work? 
chrysalis is a prize in this machine basically yeah. if you stack these blocks and make it to the major prize zone i guess ah i see so it's like a tetris thing cool yeah yeah and uh but twice seems very uh very sad there <laughs> she just missed out on winning oh is that like the last block and it's like no yeah so she failed to reform her <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, the other thing I was going to say was though, the text is the right way around for us, which means it's backwards for Twilight and anyone else on the outside. <laughs> Unless I'm looking at this the wrong way around. No, I mean, you're right. <laughs> so what you could do is like, write underneath the paper, it, yeah. yeah, put it, turn it around and then like, uh, put your drawing on top, just like shine a light through. <laughs> Any other questions? And yeah, for uh, for the twilight pressed against the glass, um, just just be careful to make it a little more symmetrical. She has a bit of a little woobly part of her face. Um, CPC did some great drawings. I just realized yeah. CPC had Twilight's horn crashing through the glass. <laughs> That's a great touch. That's awesome. <laughs> but yeah. All right. Uh, do shinies on the eyes affect? Yes. No. No. No, it's just sort of more of a light source. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But they should. As long as it's... Sorry. They should totally be something you pay attention to, though. Keep them consistent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't just be, like, randomly thrown in. And don't forget them. Which is something that I do a lot. <laughs> I swear V was ready to chase me down one day because I forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only time it really does affect the creature if it doesn't have pupils, like if it's just a black eye, the eye mm -hmm. shines actually do help a little. Yes, that's yeah, that's a very good point. Like a like a Pikachu, <laughs> <laughs> and many other types of things. Angel Bunny. All right, let's go on to a bit, which is conveniently right beneath it. Woohoo! Any questions for us? A bit? Yeah, I was gonna say I think it's Aptis. What? I'm gonna keep saying the wrong name because it's more entertaining. <laughs> My dyslexia just sees that as like A B I T Z. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any questions for us about this pick? Aptis. Aptis. <laughs> Just like you're you're having a tizzy fit with your abs. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I have questions for you, Zamba. Uh, listen, not even medical science can answer this one. <laughs> the eyes and probably the legs. But, but the science of zombies by the book today. Okay. Celestia's um, the legs are being heavily worked on. I would say one thing that bugs me a little bit. I know that they they have very long faces in the show, uh, but I think their their eyes are still like eyes and they're not like bird eyes on the side. Um, so I think they should be to some extent in this it, like straight on because it sort of looks like they're bending back around the face. If that makes sense. And I don't get me wrong. Eyes should have a lot of bend. They're, they're not just stickers. They are orbs, so they there is shape to them. But you have gotta be careful that you're not um, making them look like a crocodile. If that makes any sense. Um, so I would. I mean, you got a lovely eye shape there. I'm gonna try and replicate your lovely eye. This lovely like closed eye shape. This one on the back is is pretty right. It's pretty close. 
Um, so that one's fine. It's just this mostly this one. It goes off this direction. So then it's like, where is that going? It makes it look like our face is sort of bent in a weird way. So I if think, we do this... I think the muzzle is actually aiding to that. Yeah, that's sort of what I was thinking as well. The muzzle is a part of it. Because I think the muzzle would cover up more than the cheek would be exposed. Because basically, the way you've drawn the muzzle pretty much shows, shows that her cheek stretches out farther than the muzzle. And the muzzle is kind of sticking out of her and not really expanding width-wise. So that's something to be careful of. And then the ear falls back, I think. It's sort of like going out of the crown and then like into the main, unless I'm reading that wrong. So I should sort of start here, and then like the crown tucks behind that, I think. Is that right? Okay, the ear go in front of the crown? Yeah. Yeah, because it's got to like tuck, tuck over the ears. Yeah. Although Twilight's like just ended before the face ended, so... <laughs> However your ca crown construction works. I, I'm not the blacksmith that is forging these magical, wonderful crowns. I wonder, like, who did? That's actually an interesting point. Like, oh, I'm the, I'm the pony that made the princess's crown. I'm famous. I'd like to meet that character. Magic. Magic just... Ooh. <laughs> Someone went to... Oh, my God, the crowns are enchanted magical artifacts. Someone spent eons learning how to forge these crowns, and then they just went, mm, horn magic, and the person was just crushed. <laughs> <laughs> but my my life's work and my granddaddy's work. <laughs> it's fine, magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's cool, we've got magic now, so it's right. Is this like the equivalent of like the human race being traded for robots except Equestria got magic. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's jobs are being replaced with magic. Those, those, those hooflets look like they'd be very uncomfortable to sleep on. She's gonna have some nasty like creases in her face when she wakes up. Well, if plushies have taught me anything, they're actually just made of soft felt. So... <laughs> <laughs> but they, they clip clop. They, they go tink tink. And they walk. I think. I'm pretty uh, sure. Head Cannon says they are actually inflatable pillows. <laughs> Lauren Faust had that planned all along. Ba ding. So, yeah. What's <laughs> in this character to the left with the emoji? Solar <laughs> Steer. I hear a voice. There is a voice. It's not just in your head. Disembodied voice. It's Pony Boy. Yeah. So, hello. Are you watching the stream? There's a stream? Yes, that's what this is for. That's the, the live stream name. Yeah, Current... if you're helping us critique, then you can chat. Yeah. I know it might seem like we're being bullies and stuff, but... I mean, <laughs> we try and make this somewhat professional. And by somewhat, I mean at the bare minimum of professionality. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to everything I do on the internet. Um, yeah, so if... I agree with Maze Temporal, the wing is a bit straight. Let's have a little play around with this. Mm -hmm. wing, wings are also very fun. Yeah, wings. Hard, but very fun. And it's not so much that her head needs to be bigger, um, it's more that she needs more of a neck and more of a body. The head's very big as is. It's, it's more that she just needs to have the rest of the body meet the head. And Celestia's proportions are much different than like a regular small horse's proportions. Yes, Pony Boy, that is the stream. And you're welcome to chat in the voice channel, the voice text channel. Oh, 
I'm just going to crap myself since I had I chain, I put some of the feathers going over the butt. To make sure to show feathers on the other side. There That's purely go. just because I drew a really long wing because they do have really long alicorn wings. So how was Finland? Finland was just fine. There was a lot of fins there and a lot of non-fins. <laughs> Uh, the, was there a lot of land? Uh, was there a lot of salt? There, I don't know. I mean, we're beside the Baltic Sea, but I really didn't get a taste of it. <laughs> no, no, no sal miyaki every other second? I brought home a lot, and I've give it, I brought some to work, and I've only had one person brave enough to try it. Because I said... Uh, Stranger Zora said stuff, there were silly people there. Yes, there were silly people there. And lots of nerf fights. You couldn't step into the living room without being shot by nerf darts. <laughs> that was like my friend's uni dorm. There, Celestia is dreaming of another pony head. <laughs> Stranger Zora said it was mostly tech. Yeah. Were there Molotov? No, no. We weren't going to waste <laughs> alcohol at that because it's expensive over there. <laughs> what about alcohol are we talking about? The, the booze type. Um, so do you have any further questions for us? Ab tits. No, tis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it got worse. <laughs> right. Going downhill. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to say that on the stream. <laughs> Abilities. <laughs> Ranger Zora said, oh man, we're gonna get demonetized. Oh no, all of our money we don't make? Oh, whatever will I do? <laughs> well, th thank you, Abtis, for the the submission. I hope yeah. we, we helped in some way. Alright, we're gonna move on to... I hope you continue drawing lovely pictures, and I hope Celestia has a nice nap in that cloud. Absolutely. This must be awesome to sleep on. All right, last picture right. we have submitted. Uh, if anyone else has a picture they'd like to submit, please feel free to submit. If you don't have a picture, feel free to hang around and, you know, just shoot the poop with us. Fluffy, I've got something to critique for you. Okay, cool. Uh, ooh, ooh. Either drop that into the Picarto chat or the Discord. Hound the voice, voice chat. channel. Yeah, and we'll, we'll edit the thing. Also, look at this. This drawing is awesome. We also accept it mailed to our houses. <laughs> you carry a Strange and send it said to us it's in critique. It's in critique. That is ah. the fourth and final option, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you, Stranger Source, through computer voice. Which which one Wait, do you but, want? Was... Ah! First or second? Which one do you want us to look at? Do you critique? I'm guessing this? probably the second one, but I don't know. Cause... I mean, we can't draw all over them, but we can talk about them. No, yeah, good. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> we can dang well try. Mm-hmm. This, this drawing is very, very cute. I, I don't know. Possibly. It's well, so we can do the Luna and Celestia one in the meantime. Yeah. That's a pretty Luna. Oh, they're, they're back. Pony Boy. They're back. Which one? The first or second one you posted? Oh, uh, my bad. Uh, I guess the second one. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Well, the context changes. <laughs> that was yeah. my own thing. So I'm just. Just download it. Oh my gosh, big pictures. Big pictures. <laughs> LD has had enough of this. Like, for me and CPC. <laughs> Which come up my file size? The the canvas size is all. I, I just have to shrink it down or else it doesn't ever load for anyone else on the um, draw pile. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it's only like a 2000 by uh, 1500. That is yeah. a Ooh, really that's big a lot of... What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Dead. I could have made it a lot bigger, okay? My computer can handle 20,000 by 20,000. Yeah, my, my canvas size is usually like 5,000 by something, but it's, uh, 
not good for for this. We have to squish him down. Either way, my bad. I didn't know. No, it's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, so do you have any questions offhand for this picture? <laughs> you bet the case. <laughs> Me? Yeah. We... Oh, okay. I didn't realize you were putting me on the spot there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we gotta know what to critique. It's, it's always good to have feedback, especially if someone's here. Alright, any of you good with landscapes? We can pretend we are. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, also, if it's not too much trouble, I'm not sure how tech the hair is supposed to work with shading. All right, that is two shading questions. Can be tricky. Do, uh, Fluffy Zai, yeah. you love your hair. How about you attack your hair? <laughs> My yeah, bad for the spending a... ages talking about it. <laughs> you've been on a hair roll today. <laughs> a hair roll or a hair ball? Uh... <laughs> okay, so let's see. Are you guys working on it right now or not? Because the uh, is... Yes. Oh, it might be delayed for you. Uh, so this is the, the challenge with being in the, the chat, is you will hear us talking about stuff and then it will appear on the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, purple would be a good color for this. Okay. So hair shading. So your hair is nice. Like, obviously, you don't need to go, like, super realistic if you got, like... This is a nice flow. I love this little sort of twiddly. That's, that's really cool. Um, got lots of nice uh, curves to your, to your mane. Yes, shading can be tricky, but um, let's look at... Where is the light source, do you think? So, so top right-ish? Uh, top right behind the camera. Yeah, so it's sort of going towards where we're looking. Cool. Some I didn't sunshine. really have any like, real like, light source in mm. mind. It's, it's always... Right yeah. I, I mean, I'm, I'm lazy with that as well, but it is always good to sort of keep in mind. Um, so let's see if I... I'll do some experimenting. Um, so with one trick I've learned with shading, you can also... If you've got like a really simple hair shape, you can actually use the shading as like a cheaty little way to add more texture to the hair. Like you can put little sharp little toothy bits to help define... Oh, there's, there's some shape here that we're not really seeing from the outline. Um, but generally it'll still follow the same sort of... Uh, shape where the light casts a shadow on. Just sort of treat it like an object. Imagine where the 3D space falls, where the light would hit it, where the light would stop hitting it. Uh, and it's not too hard to figure out. Uh, I'm just doing so right now. A little concerned I'm never going to see how you're critiquing it because it's still oh. uh So we upload oh, no. this to YouTube? Uh, yeah, you can check this out later if you can't get on now. The Try refreshing the page though. It might, it might do something. Uh, is the artist on the mic stoned? I don't think he's stoned. I think he's just... Me? No, the pony boy. Oh. <laughs> I thought this is like my sleepy voice. <laughs> no, not currently. Oh, well that's good, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think no, I'm, I'm shading in like the worst color. It doesn't look even remotely like shading. It's just purple, but whatever. I will change it in a second. Also, oh, you got some like hair highlights, but they're sort of like in the wrong position from the from where the light source is. So let's just let's mess around with this. Uh, I'm going to figure out. Can you lock opacity on this? You can, I think. I believe let's... so. Uh, so I'll need a darkish color for this. Uh, that button doesn't lock the opacity, apparently. I don't know what it does. Oh. Whoops. Let's turn this off. Ooh, off. Okay. Where was I drawing on? Three. Cool. Um, just trying to find a color dark enough. Do, 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 do. Okay. So, I think if you're going to do highlights with hair, it works really well to think about the shading first. Because I have made plenty of mistakes where it's like, cool, I've got these great highlights in the hair, and then I go to do the shading, and it's like, oh, but I don't want to cut into where this highlight is. And it makes it extremely difficult, and the shading just is in the wrong place, and I have just like strangled it just to not cover up something that I liked in the picture. And then it's like, you know what, no, I'm just going to take the highlight off, do the shading how it's supposed to be, 
then I can do the highlights because uh, then that that has always worked better. That's always made a lot more sense. Um, do, 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 do. So really, just I don't know if you can if you're going to be able to see at any point, but really just looking at um, uh, just looking at the 3D shape of the hair and how light falls on it, just like with any other part of of anything. Any other body shape still gonna have light fall on it. <laughs> All right, for the background, uh, CPC has pointed out hey i can see stuff now yay yay uh atmospheric uh dithering something along that line anyway basically as as objects go further back in the atmosphere they become blue tinted and faded this is because the light yep. you know you gotta pass through objects. this it's because there's sky in front of it there's sky in front of it i, I meant to do that with the mountains and everything it's, i would how do I explain this? Uh, I've been running on about four hours of sleep the past three days, so like my brain is coming like that. Sure. I mean, th that happens. <laughs> um, don't don't worry about it. Uh, it it's a thing. Um, the the truth of football. <laughs> it's important. <laughs> you know, know what's really funny? Go back to critique first. I'm going to show you something. The most unbelievable coincidence. Did you put? Where is the Discord? Here it is. Give me two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Okie doke. Uh, as far as uh, your river, your river is basically just like this worming blue path through the, through across the the trail there that makes no sense. It has no banks to it nothing built up around it i would add banks across the river uh, it doesn't have to be every ounce of the river but uh building them up across points where water would be moving would make a lot of sense because hey erosion is totally a thing mm -hmm. <laughs> um get that dirt in there get that dirt also possibly get uh maybe objects like a rock or something just break up that endless flow of water hanging around there mm -hmm. that is an adorable little weird creature yeah <laughs> we work together to create him if your string we drew a football we're here <laughs> fluffball all right See, everyone, so everyone needs fluffballs mm -hmm. Turn Equestria into like a, a, a new Pokemon, you know, just go around collecting little fluff monsters. <laughs> Alright, uh, beyond the little breaking up the bank and uh, the dithering of the background a bit, I, I don't have much more to say. Like, your forest, your forest, well, not rendered and detailed, it works with the, the same amount of rendering as you have for the rest of it, where it's sort mm -hmm. of fuzzy and undetailed. That makes sense. Don't don't try and over render the background while under rendering everything else. Because if you do that, you're going to cause a, a large break in how people view your art. Mm -hmm. And I, I only think um, the only other thing um, that I'd like to talk about is kind of context of your whole image. Because right now there's a couple things happening where it's raining yet there's barely clouds in the sky and the ground has no changes in light to it it's all kind of one color so we're kind of missing like is it raining is it like because right now it looks like hardcore heavy rain coming down with so many raindrops being seen so it's kind of like we're missing that storm in the sky it's just kind of like there's a bright sky but there's also rain so it's like kind of figuring out what story are you trying to tell uh to be completely honest with you i wasn't really trying to tell a story i was opening Photoshop for the first time and doing it. <laughs> it's funny because it really looks like it's context in the middle of, of, sort of like a, a, a comic or something. It's okay, the rain isn't so bad or something. 
I'll I'll give it a fix and I'll show you guys later. Uh, okay. Anything else? Uh, not that I can think. It was a very 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 cute character. I love your expression work. I'm a huge sucker for expression work. You know, cute little ears. It's so adorable. Any of y'all do our Photoshop? No, I I use Clip Studio. I think a lot of us here use Clip Studio. Yeah. Oh. I use TV Paint. <laughs> I know I know a lot of people in Scrape use Sai. I don't personally like it, but to each their own. I also don't like drawing in Photoshop because I just don't like how it handles like tablet controls and tools. But it's good for painting. Uh, do you know about Medibank Paint? I tried that. I think I didn't get very far with figuring out the first how to do anything. <laughs> I wasn't the biggest fan. Let, let me tell tablets. you a story. Uh, I've been using it for three years, and I started out drawing on my phone, and I did, my stuff now looks like this. It looks like Spellbound Canvas. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I remember looking at this picture and the Spellbound Canvas pit. Well, for the meantime, you can totally share them in chat, but we're going to move on to the next picture so we get everyone yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming and yes, thank you. sharing. Oh. I dropped my tablet pen. I'm totally good at art. I can do art and not drop my tablet pen constantly. Party art. Uh, sorry, can we just ask everyone who's in the voice chat who doesn't have a mic set to push to talk or mute? We're just, uh, what we look for in this live stream chat is the only people talking are the people who are actively getting their critique yeah. at that moment, or the critiquers. And that's only just for the time of this live stream, which is about an hour every week. Uh, I know, asking a whole lot, but... If we can just ask you to mute temporarily until we're done the stream, and then we can all just shoot the poop mm -hmm. after that. You can also mute them. You're a mod. I know I can, but that's... <laughs> it's nice to ask first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, so... This is a really cool Lunar and Saucy. I love this. I, I don't know who graffitied the Celestia shooting a laser up the pony's bum. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where we get demonetized. <laughs> oh, not layer three. Ah, it was three. There we go. Like most of the drawings on it. Erase that. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Silly graffiti artist. <laughs> so this one, uh, in case. <laughs> case you didn't hear the first time we got around to it it's a broad akin eating zero zero oh my gosh who puts double Names. syllables ababot akin <laughs> zero zero and it is called hmm. follow celestia question mark exclamation mark question mark exclamation mark question mark <laughs> are you becoming uh, text-to-speech <laughs> All right. Do they have any questions specifically? They don't. They have okay. Nothing. So I think what the first thing is I'm finding it hard to find anything that needs critiquing. I feel like Celestia's body is a bit jagged. Gotta get that pony, that bean, the pony bean, bean shape. I think my my biggest thing that pokes out to me is that I'm having a very hard time figuring out Luna's anatomy. I'm not sure where her hooves are, where they start, where they're poking out. Um, I'll take Sun. You take Moon. Okay. <laughs> we'll get those Pokemon. Oh man. I want to get Ultra Sun and Moon. <gasps> Alright. Then I'm going to take this hatching stuff that's going on here. Don't right. fill your picture like this. Don't do this. Don't do that. I know. I know I'm going to sound like a bully here. But don't. It's not a good <laughs> shading style. All it does is uh -huh. lead to confusion and bad strokes and imprecise strokes. So much better ways of doing this. You can hatch. You, you want to know what a hatch is? A hatch is an ending line. 
We go thunk, 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 across. Why, why would you prefer that? Well, it doesn't cause weird tangencies, first of all, because... That's a professional word. Yes, because with your with your quick scribbly filling space, what it what it does is it causes uh, lines that aren't following the same direction and they're ending at different locations. And this causes uh, your eye to get very confused on what's going on. So if we do a hatching style that is just the standard stroking or cr uh, cross hatching where you do dunk, 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 across your strokes, it's gonna fill without causing messiness go look at any manga out there almost all of them will do a hatching style um, it's great for filling in areas if you're trying to do it that way instead of you know with like brushes or whatever um, it works just fine and it's clear it's concise it gets to the point without burning through your markers or your paper because holy cow does filling in like this burn through supplies because you're, ch you're changing the pressure on your pen at all times and, or your marker or whatever and you're gonna start digging into the paper weirdly it, it's just bad it's just bad bad form we have got to fix the form and here. like if you do want something to be you know dramatic and have that like black like background get yourself a sharper a marker you know a marker you know yeah or spend six to seven dollars and you're gonna you're gonna go get brush markers yeah they're they're great for filling in large areas you can go brush pens you can hear you can also go through uh go real crazy and go buy brushes like actual paint brushes and some cheap watercolors and fill it in that way don't do it on this paper because this paper will hate you and curl up into a weird messy goo and just sort of run away and become its own symbiote and eventually make a movie called Venom. Don't do it that way. <laughs> what a twist of events that happened right there. That sounded pretty funny the way you were saying it. Where was I? I got lost in my own tangent. Oh yes, uh, I know where I was. Um, so, f uh, filling. If, if you're if you're going to try and add a dark background here and you don't want to hatch, and you don't want to lightly brush in what's going on, uh, what you can do is you can do implied darkness. Uh, it's slightly weirder to do. Uh, it, you can use line weights for it. So what you have right now is pretty much, yeah, all, all the same line weights. So all your lines are just one brush stroke. Uh, if, you're, if you're just using like a round pen, that's or like a ballpoint pen or anything without a, uh, a diamond shaped tip, it's gonna create these. Uh, so what you can do is either get a brush pen or you can run over those lines a few times and you can build them up to a greater thickness. And what this is going to help do is imply a difference of lightness hanging around an area. So for your area around the moon and these lines, you can width uh, add more width to that to try and imply that it's a darker area uh, it doesn't always work out as well as you hope but it's option c and a half <laughs> yes ink is better for than watercolors but like getting a dip pen and then grabbing your brush and slightly watering down a small pool of ink can be very frustrating to do, especially when it explodes or gets everywhere, and then you realize you have archival ink all over your fingers and it's gonna take a long time to get off. Totally has happened multiple times. <laughs> I feel like you have experience in this topic. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, just possibly. Yes, ink. Ink doesn't care as much what type of paper you use. If you go grab a, a little uh, what, flask, I guess, of dip pen ink, you can go buy it at your local hobby art store or your local art art store. I doubt you're gonna get it at like your office supply stores, 
but hobby is hobby art stores you can order them online they're pretty cheap uh, i think i bought mine for what six canadian kopecks it didn't cost much at all and that that's lasted me eight or nine years of doing stupid stuff with it including spilling parts of it all across desks Uh, okay, uh, so you two with your Luna and Celestia. Ladies first. All right. So basically, um, like I stated in the beginning, I did have a hard time finding your arms. Um, Stranger was kind enough to point out that we believe they're the ones like coming out of the wing. Like, let me get a color. I do not have a color open at <laughs> That would be helpful. Oh, oh, I have watercolor brush on. That would do it. <laughs> There's a watercolor brush in here? Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> the, the more you know. Do, 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 do. But yeah, do, do, do. so... Uh, we learned that your arms are coming out here. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say is that these arms are very tiny for a princess. Um, like, if I just draw over where your arms are... Boop, 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 and how you have her legs... Her legs are basically twice, maybe almost three times the size. So if you think about her walking, it's she, she's going to be like Celestia, except without bending her hooves. So it's just something to keep in mind with proportion. You know, always have your references nearby so you can remember the lengths of mm -hmm. things. Um, and then we talked about the hatching earlier. I feel like I would do less scribbling in because I really had a struggle trying to pick apart your image and figure out where the arms were how the yeah at first i thought the arms were like across the body held like in between the thighs i did i thought that too that's what I, my first guess was so yeah mm -hmm. that, uh, you can confuse things it's all about how you use them and where the other thing is um there's some anatomy issues like with the legs you have them very crunched up um basically the legs are limbs that will stretch out we can see them squish and bend in all sorts of different fashions. It's like, you know, you have a pony sitting, so the legs are like, whoop, you get these little squatties. Or maybe they're stretching their legs, so it becomes a little, a little different, and they're stretched out. So it's, it's you really got to consider how the leg is moving. Um, I know a lot of the time people just want to keep that lump and then bring the leg out, but in reality, that lump actually can move and stretch and pull. So that's just something to keep in mind. So I just fixed your leg by stretching them out, letting that hoof really flourish, give her that dramatic, you know, goddess pose of floating in the air with her wings. Because she is the majestic Luna. You gave her a little tummy, but well, you can make her as skinny or as fat as you want. She don't care if she prisons, princess. So yeah. That's all I really yeah. have. For the Celestia, I was just sort of looking at the legs just to try and bend them. But we can't really see much of the original sketch <laughs> at this point. Um, I think CPC and I both had a look at the legs. Um, but just sort of looking at the the way they're bent, um, Just I drew a little thing to the left. There's some red uh, little leg skeleton things just above the, the pink pony sketch. So that's sort of me figuring out, okay, if the legs are in this position, here's how they're bending and how they're working. This is what I'll do sometimes to try and figure out how a pose is working if I don't just manage to wing it in one shot. Like if I have to actually think about, okay, where are the legs going? How are they shaped? Then I'll do this to sort of help figure out. Um, as I said before, the body was just like very jagged, so I just worked to make it a bit rounder. You've got to get that pony bean, bean body in there. And uh, just the, it made the wing match as well. Otherwise, that's pretty much all I did. I think you could probably extend that to the hair as well. I noticed, um, I don't know who was drawing in the green, whether it was that, that was you as well, Ali, on the Luna. Um, yeah. Like, the, 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 the hair is really cool, the way it's, like, floating up. But, yeah, you could, like, make the curves more drastic looking. So you could probably do that with Luna, sorry, with Celestia as well, make them the curves a little bit uh, neater and more fluid. I know it's very difficult with the pen, but you can, it's got to be very flowy hair anyway so it, i mean hair is gonna be messy it doesn't yeah. matter if it's totally neat they have some weird non-care hair so it's just very 
flowy, it's majestic, mm. it's ma it's I, I literally consider it like a field of magic. It's, it's yeah, like, yeah, basically. You know? It's like a magic cloud. <laughs> How do you get your hair to do that? <laughs> <laughs> magic! <laughs> but yeah, that's all I had to say on, on the, the celly. Um... So let's be, this, this person wasn't actually in the stream, were they? No, they were not. No, so we can't ask for more questions. If you do have more questions, you can always contact us on the Discord. This that was the last one on our list. Do we have another um, one? Someone submitted a gift to the one earlier we talked about. Someone uh, submitting a gift that's in critique right now. Oh, let's have a look. All right. Let's gif. Gif gif. <laughs> That's very jubilant. You know what happens if I upload it to the thing? I haven't actually ever tried. It'll probably be a still. It'll probably be just be like still, the, yeah. the first frame. One way to find out. Be a rebel. <laughs> Experiment. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yep. Huh. Click. I always just like. I always just copy image and then control V. But... One frame. That works. <laughs> So we can't really talk about the motion like that, but we can talk about the drawing. It depends what, what it is they want us to look at. The animation or the drawing? Oh, well, I'm here for it. Oh, hi. Yeah. I'm Aptis and we're or whatever. Alright. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got any questions offhand for this one? Oh, I thought you got to, like, criticize the GIF. Well, I guess you can criticize the... The, the body. I mean, I think it looks chubby. Actually, what I would say, looking at the GIF, and I can actually use the drawing for this as well. Um, uh, the I'm legs. In, uh, shadows. I'm, I was kind of new to it. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. I mean, putting shading on a GIF is uh, very ambitious. Um, but I'd say with the w one thing I, that I re thought of, uh, this leg here like really feels like it shuts out and becomes super big, whereas this one's very small. Um, I know that's supposed to be perspective, like this one's coming into the into the, the foreground. Um, but I feel like it just looks like it stretches a bit far. And the same goes for the back leg when that one sticks out as well. Looks like it, it looks like the leg that's sticking out is going really the back big. Leg? Uh, yeah, both of the back legs. When okay. whichever one is stretched out, looks like it gets really big. And for this one, like I said, I can sort of see that being perspective, but it's just a little bit too much. But when this back leg is the one that's stuck out, it's the same. But then it lo it would theoretically be, be going the other way, but it isn't. Um, so I feel like they just they could sort of end maybe like here. I don't know if that's about right or whatever, because it just seems like it's a bit long. If that makes any sense? Yeah, it okay. makes sense to me. I do like yeah, the sort I... of the, the front hooves. You can't see it in the drawing, obviously, but the way they bounce in there, they look very stiff here, but. Um, that's just because it's a still frame of an animation and you can't really judge that. But they look really nice and bouncy in the actual animation. Okay. It's, uh, I was wondering if it's like the tail too, uh, too small or too thin. The tail, it's, its shape is fine. We just got to move it up because right now it's pooping out. Yeah, it's got to come out the out. spine. Yeah. So it's actually coming out of the, the middle of the butt at the moment and that's not where tails go. Oh. <laughs> so if you think about where the spine is coming from, the, the back of the head, it's stopping here, that's where the tailbone is. And then, then we got like the thighs and everything. And of uh, course you've got the, the tail coming out of here. Okay, so put the tail higher. Okay. Yeah. And there's a, um, there's a main look okay. It is like, very tall. Very styled. <laughs> very styled, yeah. Yeah, that's a, somebody's OC. I, Not mine. I would still I would stick a needle in it what? and deflate it a bit. Yeah, deflate I it. agree with this line. This is this is a good like direction to take it and just lower it a little bit. If it climbs so high that it passes the ears and horns without a problem, uh, it, it might just be a little <laughs> tall. Like you might have just eaten a bottle of volumizer. Especially for considering they're also very big ears and horns. And I was gonna say, is the horn like part of your style? Or is that part of the OC? Okay. Is that just like you 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 like to draw the horns like this, or is that like part of the OC's design? Honestly, this is that's actually my first time drawing a horn. 
<laughs> okay, you know drawing a unicorn before. Yeah. That's fine, but um, so the the only thing with the horn is it would come out a bit more at this angle. If you're looking at, I don't know if you're watching the stream, um, because it's uh currently it's kind of sticking it sideways on the head, so we just want to look at how that is. It it comes out at sort of the forty five degree angle. Okay, so it needs to be like up more, a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit sort of towards the camera a little bit. Okay. All right. So how's the um how's the shading on it? The shading. It's supposed to, the camera's mm. supposed to be like top top left. The light light going source. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Light yeah. Source. I, I I get that. So that's that's a good sign. <laughs> um, okay. It is. I feel like the back leg is a little bit spotty, especially when it stretches out. If you're looking at the animation, uh, there's a few parts where it's a bit sort of messy. But everywhere else, it's it's mostly very smooth. And I mean, it's it's simple shading. So yeah, I'm because not because it board. isn't trying to be too ambitious, it doesn't stick out too much. Like if you're trying to be very specific and detailed, then it would sort of you'd see every bit of anatomy error with it. Because yeah. as I was saying to someone earlier with the the hair, uh, to to um, Abtiz actually, um, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the um, oh, you changed the cancer, do you? Okay. Um. So you uh, uh, are saying like the, the, the shading can be used to, to show shape as well. Uh, so like it, the more detailed shading you do, the more you're showing shape of the, the anatomy. Um, yeah. So, but, I mean, since it's very simple, you don't have to worry too much about that. It's just very soft. So all you're seeing is, oh, there's like a general light source and shadow. So I think you can sort of leave the shading where you what it is, especially since it's an animation and that's very hard to get consistent in animation. Yeah, it's really hard, the volume. Uh, that's about all I have, eh? Unless you have any other uh, questions. Uh, I think that's good. I think that's all I need. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, guys. We did the thing. <laughs> Alright, back to me and myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Looks like... Do we have any of those? Spellbound. Body. You, you dropped one in Critique, uh, is it... I assume they were just showing it in Critique. I didn't know if they were there for the stream or not. Are they watching? They're on the stream, mm -hmm, yes. Ah, yes, they, they are. But we, we've seen this picture before, before it was completed. We critiqued Were you it wanting us to look at it, or were you just showing it in the Critique channel? It's supposed to be in the voice chat, but then uh, I have to put it in the Critique, so I can be confused now. I'm just busy doing edits to a picture. Ponky ponky horse. Cha 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 chia. I don't know why, but I wanted to say that. Fair enough. <laughs> it just felt right. It just felt right. Oof. I would totally get a Pinkie Pie Chia pet. Uh, I mean, you can make one. I could make <laughs> one for you. Out of Sculpey. Yes. <laughs> it would live through a lot of water. This is one of the longest streams we've had in a while. I'm late for my thing. <laughs> our our oh, last yeah. stream was two hours. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, so it's usually we finish before midnight. Yeah, the, sorry, it has run a bit long. We're just waiting for. Spell That's fine. Time. I'm not complaining. It's good. This is the more important thing. Uh, and so spellbound. Are you there, buddy? Horse. At spellbound canvas. I spelled canvas wrong. Course. I'll give them another two or three minutes. If they don't respond, then I assume no. Could you send the critique pic? I already took care of it. Ah. All right. Allie, look at you. We'll also hey, have it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it'll also be a YouTube video. Hi. Hi. What does? Liet. 
Oh, that's spelled by on canvas. Buddy. Uh, 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 when, when... No, yeah, they're here. Do, yeah, you're there. Good. Uh, what... I'm just trying to figure out how this works. The, the voice chat? It seems to be working for you. We hear your voice, so I think it's working. So spellbound. Uh, last time you submitted this picture, we critiqued it back in J July 26th, I think I said. Uh, Can one person please talk? Talking. I am talking. Can you not hear us? Talkity talk talk talk. Hello. Can you hear me? I am here. Hello. Can you ping them? Thank you. No problem. All right, so you submitted this back in July 26th, sometime around then, or at least that's when I grabbed it. Uh, we critiqued it back then. We had critique about proportion. Ooh. Yep, throwing pens on the ground. We had critique about your, about the characters, about some of the background objects, about uh, some minor proportion things. Looks like you didn't touch the characters at all. Fine. It's your characters. We ain't gonna judge. Uh, you didn't change the street lamps or anything to work with the direction of the picture, which is weird still. Uh, what do you want us to critique on this then? That would be the shading. The shading. You want us to critique the shading. Okay. Uh, so how are you shading now for these ones? When you when you attack this with your, I think it's done on a vector program. What are you doing? Uh, they have muted. I gotta expand this canvas. Yeah. I shaded it in Photoshop. Okay, so you shaded in Photoshop. Okay. Uh, Some sort of technique like brushes. Just your standard brush. Okay, no hardness. I see. Ah, I see. Yeah, I've got Photoshop to do that. Hmm. All right then. Uh, light source. The. Um, all right. Let's let's talk the shading then. Uh, you have a singular light source. Cool. I guess that works. It's a street. Very dark streets, but I mean, it's Ponyville. Who, or it, a street some... lamp that is still breaking perspective. Yeah, so so we don't care about the perspective. We talked about that before. Uh, mm -hmm. Artistic decision to be Discord land. Who cares? Uh, let's let's talk the light. Uh, the the amount of light projected. So you have this awesome little hood on this lamp here. It goes yo something yo ho. Uh, light projects out. Your flight, your light source in it. Is it at the bottom? Is it at the top? Does it extend through the entire lamp? How does this, that look? Lewd? Does it extend through the entire lamp? What? What is lewd? The door. Do you want to ask again, CP, uh, LD? Okay. Where is your light source in this lamp? Because depending on where it is in the lamp is going to tell us how the shadows cast on here. So is your light source at the bottom? Is it towards the middle? Is it at the top? Or does it extend through the entire lamp? Is the entire lamp just the light source itself? Or is it just a glass covering for a light source? 
this will all have impact in how this light is working. And I can't tell based on your picture because your light source is inconsistent enough to not paint this for me. So I have to ask you, what, how's your light source work? It's coming out of it's coming out of the glass. Is it the entire glass, or is it a small element inside it's, the glass? Yeah, usually they'll have like a little lamp, a little candle, or something inside the glass that's causing the light, a little bulb or something. So what LD is saying is this isn't typically a light source. This is, but this tiny little bit in here, if that makes any sense. You'll probably have to wait for that to in the stream to to catch up. And if we all take a turn drawing light spikes yeah. coming out of this. <laughs> so if it if it was actually oh, here, then I think this I think you would actually cast like the shadow like here. It would actually extend it. Whereas if it was at the top it would make it a bit higher yeah it would it would cut off the light from the top yeah. area up here right so it yeah. all so that's of this. What, what i drawn in the red and blue is the red is where the light would be casting from the glass and the blue is where it'd be cut off from the uh from the hood and the base i, I think the key point here is that it's going to be very directional this is your singular light source so it's going to be very powerful and i know you said you used a soft brush actually in this case you're going to want some more hard edges because usually when mm -hmm. there's one direct source of light, you're going to It's gonna a very harsh hard. light as well. Yeah. And it's, it's in the middle of the night. You know, it's the only light source, so it's going to be that much more brighter. So there's going to be a lot of hard light. And depending on where that light is in the lamp itself is going to determine where those hard shadows land. There's a cool way of studying this for yourself. You're inside of a house, I assume. You have a bunch of light sources, everything from flashlights to cell phones to overhead lamps to desk lamps, whatever's around you. Shut off all the lights you can, and you're going to take one source of light, and you're going to hold it up in the air. And you're going to use your hand to see what happens when you move it closer, and when you move it further away from like your hand from that, and what shadows it casts. You'll see the edges get uh, more rigid as you move further from the light source, as it moves closer to the... Uh, what it's connecting with and as you move closer to the light source it'll become slightly softer edges but it will still have a de very defined edge to it but you get to play and see how that works and you're going to see that in your or you should be able to bring that knowledge back to your picture mm -hmm. objects further from the light source are not as clear as they could be yeah that's why when I shade, I, I start out with um, cell shading and then I use a, a blurring, I use a, a paintbrush actually, a uh, smooth, yeah, smooth watercolor brush in, CP, in CSP and I'll just like gradually go over and I, where uh, where the shadows are closest to the thing casting them, it'll be sharp and then it'll gradually get more blurry as it gets a little closer further away. Huh. See, I actually do it somewhat differently. Um, I take a big airbrush, like a really, really big airbrush and like dust in where the shadows will fall. And then I go in with an eraser and carve out where the light would go. Cause I find that like works with my brain better to carve out the light than fill in the shadow. I don't know, different ways to do stuff. So I think that's our homework for you. I want you to go study light, actual light. Uh, a horse space light is wrong. Go study actual light. Start doing some studies on that. Draw simple horse space light. light. When you shine it on a wall, it looks like Celestia's face. <laughs> <laughs> Take, draw simple objects and how they interact with the light. It's, it's easy because you have simple objects around you. Grab a box, grab a can, grab a whatever place it in front of light source, sketch, and try and figure out why it's doing that. And once you, once you sort of get a grasp on how light and shadows cast across objects, then try and bring it back to your drawings. And once you're done, that's, it's, 
it's going to make everything better. It really will. Unless if your goal is not to be even close to reality. In that case, do whatever you want. I mean, rainbow colors all the way. Double rainbow all the way. Across Equestria. <laughs> Looks like they left voice chat. Well, we'll upload it. They have posted to our subreddit so we can easily upload. Nothing yeah. Cool, cool. So I think that's everything we have, isn't it? Yes. So last call for Pony Arts. If anyone has anything they'd like critiqued, please submit it now to prevent Fluffy's eye from ever going to sleep. <laughs> uh, otherwise, we'll allow him to finally go to sleep. I don't think I get to sleep, I think just Mac is <laughs> Off me yeah. I don't I don't get it just Mac. Me and the, I think they're like me. Oh. Well, I don't know. Me. Maybe Oh, maybe maybe that? I don't know. Words are hard. Just I've never had a critique. Do you have a picture that you've drawn that you have questions that you'd like to ask about said drawing? Mm-hmm. And also Feel free to join our Discord where we have a channel specifically for critiquing, and the whole server is great for art. And if you ask, it'll get critiqued. You'll, yeah. you'll find links for said Discord in our description of this thing. We'd recommend it's a lovely group. That's okay. If you have something that you have questions about that you want to submit to us, then you can. If not, then that's fine. You can always sh give us one later on. Here, maybe this will help. That's not the only drawing we've critiqued today. This is the rest of them we've critiqued today. Yes. All sorts of different skill levels and qualities. If you go to the subreddit, you'll see thousands upon thousands of pictures posted there. Not for critique, but here's an up. Oh, it's adorable. Who shared what? Uh, go look at voice. Oh, CBC. Yeah. She finished oh, I it. Love what you did with it. Woo. Not That's finished. She still got more oh. to do. Yeah, she lost. I know she lost some progress earlier when it crashed on her at some point. But I think she just lost derpy shading. I still think it's super cute. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go ahead and submit us the picture. They're just Mac. We'll see what. Could I get floof help? Floof help? I think CBC can take that one on and post in the <laughs> voice chat. How do you upload it to any in any website that you can share the picture with? So in IMGUR is fine. DeviantArt, Derpy Bureau, uh, Stash. You could do like OneDrive or Dropbox or Mega Drive or anything. Just figure out a way to get it to us. If you need, you can probably fax it to me. No, you can't. I don't have a fax <laughs> modem. You could email it to mlpdrawingschool at gmail.com. Carrier pigeons. Oh, actually, yeah. I forgot you own, that, you own the email. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you ever email there, you're liable to have other horses sent back to you. It's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I, one time I gave out my email in chat and suddenly I got some horsey emails. <laughs> <laughs> I might do There's it to a lot of wants, people. <laughs> There's someone who wants some, some floof critique, which Ali mentioned. Yeah, I think CPC's got that. She, she, she can just quick do a little ah. red line while we get this last person stuff. Nice. Aww. That sucks, Dino. I know how that feels. Someone stole Alley Claw on Twitter. Even though I originally owned it, but then deleted Twitter because I thought I'd never use it. And now I have Twitter again. <laughs> lost to a robot. Mm. And recently I just saw you, like, liked me or followed me or something, and I was like, <gasps> Ali! I just, like, immediately hit follow back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I have questions, just Mac. Um... <laughs> But let me get this picture uploaded. Ooh. 
Oh, that's layer two. There we go. And now you know. All right, uh, you got any questions for us on this? Yes, it is not exactly full body. What happened to the rest of what the I, legs? What I, the way I see it, uh, this might not be right, the way I see it, it's just sort of like a stylistic, like, the legs are continuing, but his just like the thighs and shoulders kind of thing. You know, I could totally see that as right. like a plushy style, like... Mm. <laughs> so it's sort of like meant to imply, imply the continuation of legs. That was a terrible leg, ignore <laughs> It was like, here are legs, but we just were not seeing them. Is that right? Okay. It was they a stylus. They bionic thing. legs. Yeah, they need, like, com they need computer legs. Oh, I, I don't have reference on me, but I do some cool computer, like, some cool robot legs at some point. I don't have them. <laughs> oh, I know the You know, my robot pony. Yeah. Yeah. They look really nice. Oh. Okay, so do you have any questions about this? anything in particular is it like do you want leg help or is there other parts that you had questions about fluff because you know we can do that here we go <laughs> here's some fluff i like your eyes by the way they're very pretty yeah. very pretty eyes i i struggle so much with like anime eyes <laughs> is this like a jinx tail or <laughs> it reminds me of spyro like a dragon dragony tail the, the yellowish gold and purple hmm. So I, just I like your sort of shoulder freckles, like little spots. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very interesting design for character. It's very nice. <gasps> Wait, I just noticed the tail kind of looks like an inking pen. Ah, yes, yeah, they just said it's yeah, supposed to be a fountain said... pen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Is there a key mark? So we got, we can have like ponies with brush tail and like dragon spirits with brush tails, and we can have pony with a, a fountain pen tail. <laughs> okay. Where is my very human like shoulders? Right here? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, doing that in black on black makes sense. Human like shoulders. Uh, totally fine. I'm just pointing them out. I, is that your goal to give human like shoulders or was that a mistake? Was here? How about instead of coming up with questions, was there? You said you were struggling with legs. Is there anything else you were struggling with? Sometimes it's just uh, a matter of like I had a hard time with this, or you know, it doesn't have to be super advanced question or anything. Yeah. But it helps us, you know, guide the critique so we don't like go over stuff like yeah, I know how to make an eyeball. I know how to. All right. Uh, so apparently the. The shoulders weren't meant to be human-like. Horses, the the body attaches lower, like the legs attach lower on the body towards the like front of the chest sort of area. So if you want to make it more MLP-like, uh, just lower that shoulder point towards about the middle area of the chest. That'll help giving that more nay nay legs. <laughs> nay nay legs. Yep. Watch me nay nay. There you go. Uh, you, the, the legs were quite a bit of pain. Uh, is that why you chopped them off? Okay, oh, so... yeah, bring in a horse skeleton. Yeah, bring, bring in the horse skeleton. Go grab your references. References are magic. Um, if, if the horse just be standing... Whoa, that's a bad leg. One sec. Now we got we got our classic wider at the bottom tubes hanging around here. You can make them slightly more interesting by pointing the legs a slightly different direction. You know, to, to give it a stance. Because stances are great. I am actually drawing a robot leg, because I can. Robot leg. We da -da 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 -da. Like robot fighting cars. 
I'm really sad. There's a really great anatomy reference to compare like horse anatomy to MLP anatomy and how you can break down and use horses as references. Artists, yeah, I think like, I've seen it. They got rid of the tutorial. I have it somewhere. Uh -huh. They don't have it on their page anymore, but I have it saved somewhere. See if I can pull it up. Fun fact, at some point, I, I think I considered giving Spirit Wind in, like, an alternate universe robot back leg. <laughs> yeah, I found it. It was the other leg, though, I think. Was it? Yes, yes, it was. Wait, no, I got my canvas flipped. It was the same leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to fire that left at them? and right. Yep, I'm just doing that right now. Tend to draw your legs decently. Oh, yeah, very thinny, spangly legs. Totally fine. It makes sense for your body type. You've drawn your... Comparing to your other spangly legs, to this, I see where you fell off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> You've made your arms a lot thicker in these ones, um, which likely caused the issues. So if you want your other spangly legs, we're going to switch over to... Two, 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 blue. Why not? That is more towards your legs, where they're just skinnier. Um, you just skinny up that shoulder, drop it off earlier, and you're done. Uh, as far as your back legs, you do massive, massive thighs. Thighs that go on for hours. You gotta like get a taxi to go across them, which is fine. <laughs> you just make those hips bigger and the actual leg bone shorter. This leg bone. That should pretty much get you there. If you're aiming for that. Uh, personally, I, I'm a fan of the thick legs because horses have pretty sizable legs. At least MLP horses. Uh, real horses have surprisingly thin legs compared to their body weight and size but it is mostly just bone and muscle um, yeah it's kind of like a slider like how much horse how much pony yeah. like it's all like a yeah i think i think um next time just usually do it when um just <laughs> just do it usually um one of the things i find when anyone has trouble with anatomy is that they either don't have a reference or don't have enough references it's sometimes just a matter of letting yourself see it from different angles yes and it, i know it's like you can't get anatomy up no one gets it down perfect or anything no. it's not but uh, references truly do help with anatomy because usually those questions you have the answer is on the reference do mm -hmm. If you've ever watched Simpsons, there's an episode where Homer has this picture or the uh, sign that says uh, something about just doing it. Uh, he he's rewrote it to say or by covering it in pictures to say do yeah, it for yeah, her. Yeah. So you're gonna make a collage thing. of your horses with that, and it's yeah. <laughs> it, the the original message was don't forget your hair forever. That's it. Thank you. Yep. 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 And he made it wholesome as frig. Yeah, but with pictures of Maggie. <laughs> so I guess any other questions? Any other questions from the chat? Otherwise, we'll wrap this up and see you folks next week. Oh, it's a really old episode. Yeah, mm. it's an oldie. I remember one time I spent two days because I was basically I was home alone, no car, no nothing. I couldn't go anywhere. So I spent two days binging every episode of The Simpsons. And it was like when they were at 20 seasons. Wh wow. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> I also spent the entire time making my first plushie. So I was just sitting Good there hand sewing yeah. <laughs> the entire time. I'm just going autopilot. Oh. But I was left home alone. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> all right. Well, with that, we have no further submissions, so we're going to call it a day. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you again next week, hopefully. Assuming nothing yeah, explodes. Hopefully. And feel free to join Discord. There's always silly yep. people hanging out there. Uh, we'll 
we'll try and keep you updated on trying to convince the European folks to do this stream for us at certain weeks. Yeah. Hint, hint, Europeans. Okay. Hint. <laughs> um, yeah. So we'll uh, see you again next week.